Hi, it's Imanago. So I'm going to do a little haul today for you guys. And most of the items I'm going to show you in this video um, are some items that I have showed in other previous videos before. But I have never like officially um, introduced them on my channel. And I did buy most of this stuff back in like um, the summer. <laughs> so this haul is very late. But it's not every day that you go out and buy a pair of Giuseppe Zanotti heels. So yeah, I wanted to officially introduce them to my channel. And by the way, I did this um, no makeup makeup look. And it will be up tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. But anyways, today I'm just going to show you guys a few um, like designer things that I have been buying. And I have never really bought, well I have never bought like designer shoes or clothes or any kind of designer items before. So I'm so excited about this. So yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing I bought um, are some shoes that you guys have seen previously. So these are my Giuseppe heels. So the box looks like this. So it's just basic black with um, the Giuseppe signature on the front. And these are the shoes. You guys have seen me wear these before. So these are just um, high heeled peep toe shoes. And they are just in this black um leather with the shiny finish so these are in a size 40 and that is usually my regular size um these are a tiny bit too big for me so i have bought just on ebay these little um these little pads that you can just pop in in the back of your shoe just like that and in that way um it will fit a little more snug, so um, I'm going to try this, and hopefully they fit a little better after that. But this is just so pretty, so they do have a little platform. Um, I'm not sure how high these heels are, maybe like 5 inches, I'm not sure. But they are really really cute, and these I actually bought um, second hand, so they had already been pre-owned before I got them. So that's why they were cheaper. I don't remember exactly how much they were. But I did find them online. Um, completely new and all that. And there they were like 700 or 800 bucks. So they are pricey from um, if you buy them when they are new. So if you buy them second hand. You can usually get like um, a good deal. But of course then your shoes will have been worn before, but for me that's not an issue. And I just feel like with um, designer items that cost so much money, um, it's great that you can, um, you know, uh, sell them again and have somebody else buy them if you no longer wear them. Because they are so expensive and they are well made, so they can definitely, you know, make more people happy, basically. And this is how the um, bottom looks like. So you can see it has definitely been worn. And the heel looks like this. So it has been worn. I have also worn them. Um, but yeah, overall they are in really good condition. And they are just so beautiful. They are just like my new go-to black stilettos. So they are just absolutely adorable. So another pair of shoes that I also bought second hand are these. So these are from Pucci. And these looks like this. So as you can see, these are like slippers. So these are definitely not um, wearable right now in the winter time. But as I said, I did buy these back in the summertime and I did use them a lot. And again, these were pre-owned. So um, you can see here that they have marks. But for me, that doesn't bother me. As I said, I'm just happy that more people can enjoy, can enjoy these shoes. So these just have a little wedge heel. If we compare it to the other ones, um, these are these are definitely um, smaller. And these are just so perfect for the summertime just to slip in and walk around in. And they are really super comfortable. And these again are in a size 40. Yeah, a size 40. And that's my regular size. And these just have like the regular, um, not the regular, but like the um, iconic and classic Pucci print. Which are the colors and... The kind of you know yeah the colors and the way they play together so they are really super cute and just like with the other shoes um, if you are interested in these I did find them online so I will link that below and then one more thing that I also bought second hand that is this um, top from Missoni and you guys have already seen me wear this 
um, a couple times I think but this is just a um, kind of a halter neck so you put it around here and then these for your boobs and then in the back it's just um, you know lower and it just has like the um, classic Missoni um, print well not print it's not printed on but you know it just has the classic uh, Missoni like design and it has a zipper on the side so um, that's how you get it on and I bought this in a size small and this is really super comfortable. So that's everything that I bought second hand. And I definitely feel like it was a good deal to get these items second hand. Uh, because you get a lot of the price off of course when they have been used before. And as I said before, um, to me if um, I get some second hand shoes you can visibly see like underneath the shoes or something like that that they are used. That doesn't bother me. Um, you know, I'm going to use them myself, so um, I would make them look like that. <laughs> and actually, I love to get um, um, these kind of designer items second hand, because then somebody else have already kind of worn them, and um, you know, then if I wear them and I see like the first scratch on my shoes or something like that, then um, I always feel like, oh my god, I scratched them, Ugh, you know. But if they are already a little bit, you know, worn, then it's like whatever, because you didn't fuck them up. <laughs> so it's just much easier for me to wear secondhand shoes, because I don't feel like I have to be as careful. And to me that's really nice, because I'm not good at being careful, I'm really clumsy. Okay, so I have one last thing that I wanted to show you guys, and that is from Christian Louboutin. So I went in the Louboutin store when I was in Copenhagen, um, like a few months ago, and I bought a nail polish. So it comes in a cute little package like this, and you just open it. And I got the Louboutin nail polish in the color Rouge Louboutin, and you guys have also seen me um, use this before and wear it on my nails of course so it just comes like this and then you just get it out of this package like that and here you have the nail polish and you guys have seen it before because I have showed it before and this is designed after a Louboutin um, stiletto heel and then down here you have um, your nail polish color so I got the classic um, Rouge Louboutin which is the same color as um, the sole on the Louboutin shoes and it's such a great nail polish um, it is expensive but I would totally recommend it it works so well and it lasts so long on my nails and it has a really beautiful color I find it to be better than my OPI nail polishes it just goes on completely streak free and after two coats you have like a perfectly opaque color on your nails and it lasts for so long and it dries easily so this nail polish is just a bomb and I am thinking that I might have to go back and buy some more nail polishes just because they are so good but um, yeah that's what it looks like the packaging is really cute but yeah that's all for this haul so I just wanted to show you guys these few things and um, yeah I really want a pair of Louboutin heels and I also really want a Shimon J um, sweater. So when I can afford those, I will definitely buy them. Because I love me some designer items, okay? I'm not going to lie. I love some expensive ass things. Because <laughs> we are living in a material world. And I am a material girl. <laughs> oh, I can't sing. Okay. So what are you guys' dream buys? And by the way, if you like my headpiece, um, I got this from Dress Lily. But as you guys know, I did not have a good experience with that company. So, and if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down in the down bar. But um, yeah, you can get this headpiece. Um, this is this exact headpiece on Born Pretty Store also. So I will link it down in the down bar. And other than that, I'm going to go ahead and go. So please like this video if you liked and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video, bleh, which will be tomorrow and it will be a makeup tutorial on this look. So keep an eye out for that and I will see you then. So take care and bye bye.
Am I sick for having constant nightmares about my Louboutin nail polish breaking? Like, I constantly dream that um, this part just shatters and breaks. And it just breaks my heart every time I dream that.